Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make a boost converter using MC34063IC. The maximum input of this converter is 40 volts and the minimum input of this converter is 3 volt and its output can be adjusted from 1 volt to 45 volts. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. These are all the components we gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect MC34063IC and connect its pin number 6 to positive supply and its pin number 2 and 4 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its 1 pin to positive supply and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1000 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to positive supply and its negative pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 nanofarad capacitor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 6 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 7 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 220 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 7 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 8 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 330 microhenry inductor and connect its one pin to pin number 7 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 1 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1 nanofarad capacitor and connect its one pin to pin number 3 of the IC and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N5819 short key diode and connect its anode to pin number 1 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1000 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to cathode of the diode and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 nanofarad capacitor and connect its one pin to cathode of the diode and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to cathode of the diode and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K resistor and connect its one pin to cathode of the diode. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10K trim pot and connect its one side pin to remaining pin of the 10K resistor and its center pin to pin number 5 of the IC and its other side pin to ground. So we have completed all the connections now let's test the project.
So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.